Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and today we're going to be talking about great games to play with family. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about games to play with family. Um, I really loved playing games with friends and family and just uh, sharing the experience with everybody. And it's, I don't know, like, it's, uh, it's like why all of these other people love couch co-op and how they, they just can't get enough of that feeling. It's like, uh, you know, like laughing at a joke is great, but laughing like a bunch of people laughing together at a joke just kind of elevates things much more. And I, I feel the same way about uh, video games and certain video games and stuff. And, um, you know, that's that's where this comes in is uh, these are some great games to play with family. So first up, we have Fibbage uh, on the PC. It also is on various other consoles um, by Jackbox Games, um, released in 2015. Uh, Fibbage is uh, one of those games that's kind of like Mad Libs, where you you fill in something very funny. Um, you're you're trying to fib and fool other people into believing your lie. And the great thing about this is when you're playing with family, you can either make this as clean as you want it to be, or not so clean as you want it to be. Um, so uh, next up is Kirby, and I know what you're thinking, how is Kirby a game to play with family? It, it is, trust me. I was head up by HAL Laboratories in Nintendo 1993, it was like the first entry. Um, playing Kirby with, with, with family is a lot of fun. And there are editions of Furby, of uh, Kirby that you can play with family. Um, there's, uh, there's a new one on the Nintendo Switch where you can have uh, multiple people team up and, and go with you into places and, and help out and have fun. And but the, the original Nintendo one is also great. Um, there's an online version of one on the on the Nintendo Switch where you can also team up and everyone is Kirby. Uh, they're just different shades of Kirby. So <clears throat> next up, we're gonna go with Fusion Frenzy by Blitz Games, uh, released in 2001. Uh, this is a versus party style game where it just randomly selects a different kind of challenge if it's like the balls where you're trying to push each other off the edge or you know you're trying to jump up the hurdles and stuff like that or collect something it's um it's very very much a party game and just a lot of fun i can't i can't tell you enough that, that if you play this with family and friends uh you're gonna you're you know you're going to have some friendly rivalries and you're just going to have a lot of fun. Next up is Mario Party, uh, where the first one was released by Nintendo in 1998. Uh, I mean, Mario Party is a classic. You run around on the board, you compete in the mini games, you steal stars, hopefully from the computer and not from your friends or your family. Um, I know some house rules where people put that in place where you are not allowed to steal stars from each other. It was a down, dirty thing to do. But it, it's still a fun game and you just, you, you laugh, you have fun. Um, even with Mario Party 10, uh, my wife and, and my little one, she would, they would team up against me and I would be playing as Bowser. And we would all just laugh about it. It's, it's just great fun. Next is Affordable Space Adventures, uh, released in 2015 by uh, Napnock Games. Goodness, I nearly messed up that name. Um, 
this is a uh, this is a great title. Um, it's up to three players, and the the comical chaos where you need to work together to to get to a common goal, and you're all shouting commands back and forth like no shine the light over here or I need more power to the engines or something like that is just great um, it, it's it is that that comical chaos that just that makes it where uh, when you fail and you will fail often you'll just laugh about it you won't get mad you'll just laugh uh, Next up is Zelda Four Swords, released 2004 by Nintendo. Um, Four Swords is just a great game for anyone who's a Zelda fan, and if they can get together four people to play and come together and play Four Swords, you're going to have a blast. You're going to pick each other up, you're going to throw each other. Sometimes you might get a little mad and throw each other into a pit, but <laughs> it's... There's nothing wrong with this game. Um, and again, it, like there's a major theme running through all of these, you can sit back and laugh at the whole situation of you know, what you're trying to accomplish and how silly you feel when you can't accomplish it. Or at least you can't accomplish it the first or second try. Uh, any beat-em-up, to be honest, is great but let's lean to the less gory if you're gonna have young kids involved um, now you can go with some comical stuff like if you're okay with it maybe castle crashers uh, for for younger kids where it's just like you know it's it's comical and it's slapstick and it's a little gory and it's a little gross but it's cartoony um, Let's see, uh, next we have Skylanders or and or Infinity, or Disney Infinity. Um, yeah, I love, I love Toys to Life, but they had a good couch co-op where uh, you could turn around and take one of your characters, and if you've got a little one with you, you can level that character all the way up and get them really really powerful and then you hand that character to the little one and you play the underpowered character that way you're getting something done you're leveling up another character and they're still having fun and that's really what it's about is like you and everybody who's got a controller in their hand having fun uh, Another good family game is Mario Kart, released by Nintendo in 1997. Now, it doesn't matter which Mario Kart you get, they're all pretty good. Um, just make sure that you got enough controllers, and you know, start out light. Don't don't immediately, you know, go, come out guns blazing or anything like that, because. If you beat someone bad enough that they feel bad about it, they're not going to come back and play again. So, kind of hold it back a little bit. Uh, and I'm talking to you experienced gamers out there. Hold it back just a little bit. Just enough to where you're not trouncing them. You're helping them learn to become better. Uh, that way, everyone can have fun with this game. Lastly on this list is basically any board game that has been turned into a video game. Um, be it Monopoly or Risk or um, or Armello or you know just anything like that because you can have the fun, you can play on the big screen television and then there's not really much to clean up afterwards. You just turn the game off and that's it you don't have to gather up all the pieces and put them back in a box and put the box back on the shelf or anything like that and you still have that sense of togetherness you still have that sense of you know hey i'm here playing with 
with my family and my friends and just having a good time. And again, like I said, it's, it's really all just about a good time. And, you know, I can't know all of these games. I, I, I just can't. So if you have any suggestions for the, uh, if you have any suggestions for uh, games to play with family, you know, just leave them in the comments below and we'll, we'll take a look and see if we can expand this list a little bit further and just have that much more fun with our family and friends. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.